briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. This captivating legal dispute, Hughes v. Emerald Mines Corp., was presided over by the Superior Court of Pennsylvania in 1982, setting an important precedent to the legal philosophy surrounding property damage. The case unfolded around a coalition of disgruntled landowners who accused a formidable coal company of inflicting serious damage to their essential water wells. The saga originated when a jury sided with the plaintiffs, slapping the defendant with a hefty fine. Not surprisingly, the coal company opted to contest the verdict, and consequently, a reassessment of damages was demanded. The stories narrated by respective real estate experts culminated in the lower court making a critical determination. The cost of remediation for the damaged wells was significantly lower than the damages originally assigned. Moreover, the heart of this intricate legal quarrel revolved around the dip in the land's value due to the lack of access to usable water, a consequence directly attributed to the defendant's actions. Despite the arguments presented, the court reaffirmed the decisions made by the lower court on the majority of presented issues. However, it eventually intervened to overturn the exorbitant $32,500 damages award, citing it as excessive. The court directed the case towards further proceedings to reevaluate the amount realistically. In a final act, the court held the defendants liable for the damages to the wells, defined the damages owed as remedial, and ordered a re-examination of the case to finalize the consequential damages and restoration costs. On the other hand, a dissenting judge expressed skepticism over the presented evidence on which the jury's judgment was based. He drew attention to the testimonies that hinted at a potential property value loss of $32,500 if the property was left waterless but no evidence outrightly stated the impossibility of restoring the affected wells. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.